Thursday morning. Lots of lovely messages from the tractor delivery yesterday video. Health to drive, never heard that before. Really good saying, so thank you to everyone that, that wished as well. I'm gonna try and find our eight meter tape measure because we're just doing these rubber flaps. John's showing James around this yard again. Just want to see the new tractors. We're doing an air tunnel, oh, it's locked. We're doing an air tunnel rubber fix job while it's wet and damp. Don't think there's gonna be any harvesting today because we've had quite a bit of rain overnight. And it's not particularly bright at all. We won't even get any spraying done. So finish this tunnel, I've got a Zoom meeting. Then we may run some up to Great Eccleston show ready for Saturday, or we might just do it tomorrow, we'll just see. Morgan was gonna try and get this finished today, but his girlfriend is graduating later. So he's gonna be off to that. So he's just, oh, there's a tape measure. So he's just gone off mowing a couple of the dog fields. It's gone on the Valtra because one, it's easy to put on because it's got a hydraulic top link. And two, we're trying to keep the two fence clean because it's obviously going to the show. So we didn't want to get it covered in grass and dirty. So otherwise we have to clean the tires and then people lean on with the show. I've just done a Zoom meeting from the comfort of a 728. Morgan just got back from Fleming that field. He's going to quickly put the hedge cutter on because we've got some gateways still to finish off. So while he's got a spare hour, he's going to stick that on put another one of the dog fields and the gateway is quite dangerous so hence why we're going to put the edge cutter on. It's a long-winded way of saying we're putting the edge cutter on wasn't it? I don't know where he's gone I think it's because some of the link balls out of the hedge cutter. Just in the golden arches and oh tune um six big map meals large and six plain cheeseburger chasers. 51 pounds, something or other. It's like quite a lot, isn't it? Food is dear at the moment, but it's not when it leaves the farm. There's one of them green fence. Simon's guy's here to pick up some chip. We're just gonna, we've been cleaning out where they're doing the rubber flaps. There's about a ton of, ton of mixed grains. So we're gonna put them in some dumpy bags. So I'm gonna try and put two bags on here, tip them out that bucket and then can use it for feeding it pheasants on the shoot. This is seven foot six, but it's not got the tines on the end. That's about eight foot. So I'm gonna see if I can find a tine to slot in off the new spike to make it wider. Hmm, that was partly a success. Not spilt that much. Yeah, Simon's man's called Anthony. Uh, he's been coming for months and I never knew his name. So he's just told me. So he's just helped us get it in the bags. I'm just looking for the for the shovel though, because the shovel was in this tunnel. We've just got one more flat to go on here. We've done them three bays and we did these last summer. So that's what Rob and John have been doing today. Great job on a cold day, not a great job on a hot day. You get a lot of heat coming down here. The rest of that can go through the boiler. Well, there we go. There's, some pheasant food or duck food now. Big day today for the quad track. It's getting its light upgrade. It's what we always do in, in June because we get loads of light. <laughs> or is it because Ben was late? <laughs> no, they've been in a workshop in a box for ages and Morgan didn't put them on, so. The way that the weather is, would you lie? Look at it. It's oh no, yeah, you, you actually need lights on in the daylight at the moment. Did you, did you, did you have a discount code for my watches? Yeah, Ollie 05. O double L Y zero five. Yeah. So if you want some lights, UTV lights, they are available on the website. The best lights. The best lights you can get apparently, according to the man that sells them. So despite Vicky and Stu having twins at home, they're here admiring the twins here. Which you prefer? Yours are shiny. <laughs> I don't know the biggest time. Yeah, they've got uh, twin girls at home that are about James's age. But I think the tractors are a bit quieter. Taking a terrific around because the lights on the quad track are that high. They're so uh, climbing up on the cab and falling off the bonnet. We can use the basket for it. Well, this for it, the mango. So Sophie was guiding me. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> and now look. <laughs> I think it's a case of a bad 
Oh, I, th I think you were leaning on that and then you walked off. <laughs> you've, made, you've made a right mess of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it just makes it look a bit more rugged. Trust you. Yeah. Don't. Just at Brook House getting the picnic benches back out the field. They were left in the field from the wedding. The horse girls have been picking the weeds and ragwort out the field. Just needs a quick brush now or leaf blower. Clean the turf. Stu's just helped me with the benches. We're going to go and look at the Phacelia, see if there's anywhere to put the, put the hives, because Phacelia honey is really good, isn't it? Yeah, sort of. So, a little bit different. Yeah. Sort of different. So we'll go and see if there's somewhere that they won't get nicked. This is where we sown the Phacelia. Was it last week? Was it last Friday? So like nearly a week ago. No sign of it coming up yet, but there's the lap wings. We've got beans in the middle, Phacelia, beans, Phacelia, and that's going to be SFI stuff. So somewhere up here will be good for putting the beehives because there's, there's you know, loads of pollinators. It'd have been great if this 70 acres of sunflowers had grown because they'd, they'd love that. But Bill's also got 55 acres over there, maybe 60 of um, Phacelia coming into flower in a, in a wild bird mix. So you've got pollinator there, pollinator there, and then all this, so be ideal. You can't see it from up there, but we opened the blind in the car and Vic's just noticed there's a crack in the window. Good job it's not mine, it's coming back. I'm just moving the wrong way. <laughs> I'm just moving the turret picker out of the shed at Bell's. I think I've sold it. So. I'll move it out the back of the shed. It's been here for six months. That goes to 45 foot. The other mango goes to 41 foot. It's 20 foot long. And I'm sure the mango is only about 12. Because it has that knuckle boom so it can fold in there. So yeah, it's quite a bit bigger considering it doesn't really go much higher. You can hear them, can't you, humming? Buzzing with bees. Honey bees on it, right in front. It's like, where's Wally? Spot the bee. You can see him from your eye, but I don't think you can with the camera. Hell of a view out the yard, don't it? looking at Bill's barley. They're not even lifting. I said beep the horn and we'll get a video. There's loads of pigeons on it. Dope. It's gone flat in places. Obviously Ben is not scared of heights. I don't mind going up high next to something, but I don't like going up high not next to something. That's uh... <laughs> Drop a tape measure down, we'll measure it. Yeah. Sophie's scared of the heights on the top of that. <laughs> While I've been playing lights and looking at corn, well, cover crops, Rob and John have done a splendid job of these flaps now. So, the idea is we blow her down here and then we can open them, blow it underneath either side just by lifting that up and hooking the chain on. Did you get that light down off that pillar? Yeah. Yeah? Because we, uh, because of the certain one wants to be the track on the, uh, the batting on the bottom of the flat. Oh, now it's got shorter. <laughs> We've got a slight gap. Yeah. It is what it is. It's all right, isn't it? That is wonky. It's not. That is a rifle. You have to pay for advertising on the quad track. Right, it's slightly <laughs> wonky, but that's their fault because I asked them to help me line it up. <laughs> ah, it's all right. Bit of a theme here with red and black, isn't it? John's putting the jury picker away. 
and Richard's in here. Three more battens on the roof. It's mad, isn't it? Bit of fresh wood, how much you can smell it. You can smell pure pine. Right, big debate. Do we just put some LED strip lights in or do we put LED spots? What, and I think, I think the spots are gonna be expensive, if I'm honest. I don't know. It would look good, but it is only um, like a stores and a brew room and a Weybridge office. What do you think? That's today's quiz question. Or does anyone know we can get cheap spots from that last? They've finished fitting the lights now. We're just gonna go in the shed and they're gonna try and fly a drone around the top of it to make a video without cross crashing the drone into the shed roof. I still think the fan on this is quite noisy. So we'll park it artistically in the shed, I think. You know, yesterday I was saying about the 728s. I think people actually believe me that they've given me one really, really cheap. Well, no, we didn't. Obviously, you got a bit of a discount for buying two at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, it was a wind up. And that's why it had the, uh, the winky face emoji. But apparently some people never sponsored, spot, spotted the winky face emoji. When I said someone had bought 300 of them and they'd give me a deal out one. It looks superimposed, that. Where's the drone yeah, gone? Where's the drone now? Oh, there. That's close to the wall. No. Oh! Why is the sensor not working? She just crashed into the wall. I mean... Do you want a bigger shed? Before Sophie does the birthdays, we've got a colour in the air. <laughs> the letters in. Special guests on the birthday bumper. Off you go, Ben and Sophie. <laughs> happy birthday to Terry May. Um, happy wedding anniversary, was it? Yeah. To James and Gillian. That's their 10th wedding anniversary. Congratulations on that one. Uh, happy 60th to Andrew Graham. Uh, Leroy uh, Vlan Vlaming. Uh, happy 40th. Happy birthday to Gemma Ward, Toby Hurt and Craig. Hughes, Hughes. I think. <laughs> Gemma's 44 and Toby's 39. Happy birthday. Everyone on there. And we're at £70,697 for the North West Rambles. Thank you, UTV. This was yesterday's quiz question. Loads of people got it right, but loads of people got it wrong. It was the ABS plug. The Isobus plug for plugging machines in is that one. If you look at the drill, you'll see what I mean. See, that plugs in. Uh, we have not taken them outside all day today because it's been wet and damp and they need to look clean and shiny for going to the show. So this one is nearly ready now. I've uh, finished off with the help of Ben and Sophie before these. I didn't know whether to do the them as well, the sizes, but I don't know if that can be bothered. But it definitely looked better just doing the outline of the letters than it did doing the middle of the letters, don't you think? That looks a bit um, like a five-year-old's done it was that one looks quite professional. But unfortunately that is just four out of eight to do. This is today's quiz question. What's that white thing for there? I think you know, let me know in the comments. Can you tell it's a wet day in July? I've got paint all over me as well that we're messing around doing this. We should be combining barley. We should have a shed full of half full of barley by now, but because of the bad weather, we didn't have a lot of barley. And what we have got is either patched up with spring and it's late or it's just too wet to get going. So it's starting to be a repeat of last July already. Uh, don't forget anyway, I'm going to end the video in a minute, but uh, I'm at Newport Show, Shropshire, because there's quite a few Newports in the UK, but Newport Show, <coughs> Newport Show in Shropshire on Saturday, and these are at Great Echo all weekend, and I'll be up at Great Eccleston and Tractable on Sunday as well as the quad tracks going. James Ashbrook's kindly taking up for his honest truck. 
Claire is also there, Cotton Iso Claire, that does the embroidery for us. She's selling my merch and other people's merch. She is by the secretary's tent, not far from the main ring and not far from where these are going to be, or one of these is going to be part of it at least. So go and check her out if you want anything, any merch and stuff. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.